before you this morning. I'm your chief sales officer. I'm one of the four co-founders, and I am excited to bring our speaker on this morning. It is Wednesday, and who comes up on Wednesday? None other than our VP of Training and Development, uh, Ruby, in the organization. What does Ruby mean? It means that your team has done over $25,000 in one calendar month, where the 50% rule applies. I applaud this young man. Yes, this young family man, and I know he is going to come on and give some great results that's happening with him uh, in the Flat Belly 21 Day Raw Cleanse, as well as uh, some words that we can use the rest of this day. Are you out there, Coach Dan? I am out here. Hey, 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 Miss Phyllis. Listen, I'm talking about, I, I, listen, I know Lewis. Lewis is my man, so he's not going to be offended when I say Miss Fine Phyllis. Miss Fine Phyllis, I'm telling you, you are looking absolutely amazing. So many people in Wakana is just transforming. It is absolutely um stunning to see the impact and the commitment that everyone is making to live a healthier and better life. Good morning, Wakana Nation. Good morning, Wakana Nation. I literally just jumped off the scale. I literally just jumped off the scale. And as I approach, I guess this is day 15 for me on the 21 day, um, on the 21 day uh, detox. This is day 15 for me. And I am down um, 13 pounds. I'm down 13 pounds, um, and we are still, and we, and we're not finished yet. And so this is so amazing. I have decided, and I've, I made the decision this morning when I was thinking about maintaining, because some of the things we do is we do well in our now, but when the now is over, it's difficult to maintain. So I, I said to myself, what can I do? Um, and how can I do it where I can maintain this healthy lifestyle and maintain my desired weight, which is 250 pounds, which is where I would be before the end of February? What can I do to maintain it? Now, this is not necessarily for everybody. This is just what I'm going to do for me. I decided I'm going to go raw two weeks out of the month. I decided I'm going to go raw two weeks out of the month. Because if I go raw two weeks out of the month, I'm guaranteeing the good stuff in, and I'm minimizing, and, 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 I'm, and I'm forcing myself away from the bad stuff, and, and, I'm, and I'm forcing the bad stuff out. So I'm going to do something similar two times a month, um, two weeks out of the month, to help me to maintain. And so that, that's just my personal thing. You guys will have to figure out um, how you're going to uh, allow discipline um, to what help you're going to find to be able to keep discipline. But that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about focusing on your future. I want to talk about focusing on your future. Here's what I realized, and I, I actually realized it um, as I was thinking about what I would share with you, that all of us have the ability and the capacity to focus, and many of us actually do. The question is, what are we focused on? Because whatever we focus on, whatever we put our attention to, that's going to be the entity or the thing that's going to, um, that we're going to breathe life into. So you have the ability to breathe life into whatever you focus on, whatever you concentrate on, whatever you focus on. That's what is that's what's going to live in your life. So then, when I began to think about this, I said, okay, if we're focusing on the future, and all of us have the capacity to focus, but some of us, our futures don't look like what we desire, then we have to look at what we're really focusing on. And this is the three things. This is this, this is a couple of things I realized that we focus on. Some of us focus too much on our past. Some of us focus too much on our past. And because we focus so much on our past, we are never, um, we are always living in yesterday. Because we focus too much on our past, we're always living on yesterday. 
Um, and that, and some of us may not have a bad past. So we're living on yesterday's victories. We're living on yesterday's accomplishments. We're living on yesterday's acknowledgments. And, 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 and the truth is, those of you that are working the business full time, every time someone announced your ranking and you did not rank in that ranking that current month, guess what they're doing? They're acknowledging your past. They're focused on your past. Now, for some, it's not necessarily a bad thing to consider your past, but it is something that you must remember about your past. Your past, watch this, was a preparation for your today. Your past is your yesterday. And your, and your past and your yesterday was really should be preparing you for your today. So what does that mean? Well, some of you may say, Coach, my past didn't look good. My past did not, um, wasn't comfortable. My past wasn't pleasant. Uh, matter of fact, I'm glad my past is gone. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. When I look at my past and I look at my life, um, four suicide attempts, child molestation, um, gang violence, all of that kind of stuff that I participated in. Yep, yep. I was admitted to the Tinley Park Mental Institute at the age of 21 years old. Yep, that's, that's Coach Dan. That's Coach Dan's past. Mama, cocaine addict, father, a heroin addict. That's Coach Dan's past. And who wants to focus on the trauma of my past? The only thing that I, I pull from my past is the fact that I once was that and now it's this. Your past has to become your place of preparation for your today. The things that I was able to, to work through, grow through, and go through in my yesterday, it really positioned me and prepared me for my today. Now, here's the thing. Some of us just focus on our present. That's part of the issue. Some of us just focus on our present. And the challenge with just focusing on your presence is that, is that everything you do in life is based on what you are presently going through, what you are presently dealing with. And if you get consumed with your today, you'll get stuck and you will not be ready, watch this, because eventually today will be your past. And remember, your past is a place of preparation. So if you get consumed and stuck with your today, you will not properly prepare yourself for tomorrow, which is your future. <laughs> so, so you cannot just get stuck on today. This is why we tell you to have goals. This is why we tell you to have a vision. This is why we tell you to have a plan, because we want to make certain that you're focused on the goal, you're focused on the vision, you're focused on the plan. And when you focus on the goal, when you focus on the vision, when you focus on the plan, guess what else you're focusing on? You're focusing on creating the future that you desire to have. In other words, what Coach Dan is saying to everyone today is this, guess what you can do? You can create the future you desire to have by using your past as preparation. Some of us got to use the pain of our past as preparation. Some of us got to use the, um, the hard hair lessons of our past as preparation. Um, some of us use the, uh, um, use the past experiences as maturity in our preparation. So, so, so the, but the reality is you cannot live in yesterday. You cannot live in yesterday because yesterday is over. My son played basketball, um, as, as you go. Well, both of my boys, with, um, my older son played basketball. My younger son plays basketball. And, and whenever I'm challenging them to do better, well, the first thing they do is give me their resume. Your resume, watch this, your resume is what you did. And you're submitting your resume today for the hopes of getting a job tomorrow. But your resume, is, your resume is only preparation for what you're trying to go after tomorrow. So I would say to my sons, hey, listen, what you did yesterday is inadequate now. It doesn't even matter. What matters is what you do today. And, and, and then after today is over, it, what matters is what you do tomorrow. In other words, your future matters. Your future matters. Your future matters. So, so here's, here's the next thing. So in order... So we know that if we focus on our past, um, um, our past will cause us uh, never to be able to move 
forward. We know that our past is a place of preparation. We can't get stuck in focusing on our today, our present, because if we focus on getting um, caught into our present, then guess what's going to happen? We will never get to our, tom- our, our future. Now, here's what your future is. The past is a place of preparation. Your present, watch this, is a place of process. Everything that we're doing right now is process. The, what we are doing in this moment, me talking to you, Miss Phyllis talking to you, uh, 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 um, uh, Dr. Pat talking to you and coaching you, um, your, your team leaders talking to you, everything that we're doing, the 21-day detox, we are going through a process because your presence is always a place of process. You were preparing your past. You're going through the process in your present. And watch this. Your future is a place of productivity. Yes. Did did y'all get that? So we're we're preparing. We're going through the process so that we can be productive. So everything, so when we focus on our future, what we're focusing on is productivity. Pro, when you break down product, Pro means uh, uh, for, duck means channel. So what all of us on this call have done is chosen Wakana to become a channel for our productivity in our future. But in order to get there, we got to make certain that we work the process here. Miss Melissa Boston, our wonderful CEO on Monday, said that you cannot, don't, re, don't try to reinvent the wheel. The wheel of success has already been invented. Just allow yourself to be consistently going through the process. And as you go through the process, you will eventually leave your present to your tomorrow, your future. And at that point, you will become productive. So I got three minutes. And so in the next three minutes, what my goal and my desire is to help you to focus on your future. Why should we focus on your future? I'm going to give you three reasons why. I hope you guys have been taking notes today. Um, Three reasons why I want you to focus on your future. Number one, you should should focus, and not only three reasons why, but the the, 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 the type of people that should focus on their future. The first person that should focus on their future is the person that says, I am not satisfied with where I am today. If you're not satisfied with where you are today, if you're not content with where you are today, then you must begin to focus on your future today, which means there is some activity that you must engage in today in order to become satisfied with your tomorrow. That's that's so number one, if you're not if you're not satisfied with your today, you need to focus on your future. No, number two, the number two, the second person that needs to focus on their future is 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 the person that can say, I have not fulfilled my purpose. If you still believe that that, that you have not seen the manifestation of your purpose in operation in your life, you should be focused on your future. Because the why of your existence have yet to be revealed in the earth of why you were created in the first place. Oh, y'all, y'all got to catch that. Because all of us was created for a purpose. All of us were created for a purpose. And, and, and now I only got 60 seconds. So, so here, here's the 60 seconds because this is going to tie right back into what we believe. That if you, um, if, if you have not positioned yourself to leave a legacy, Come on, listen to the language. If you have not positioned yourself to leave a legacy today, then you must live out the legacy today so that you can leave a legacy in your tomorrow. So number one, you're not satisfied. Number two, you you have not um, um, manifested your purpose. And number three, you have not properly positioned yourself or your life to leave a legacy. That's why you should focus on your future. Listen, I will. I hope and trust and pray that this word of encouragement, that's what it was today, a little bit of, a little bit of teaching, a little bit of encouraging. Um, I pray that it was helpful. I pray that it was insightful. I, I pray that it had the capacity to shift you from where you are today 
to where you desire to be tomorrow. With that being said, I'm going to pass it back to you, Ms. Phyllis. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so glad I took notes because every time I hear you, Dr. Pat, anybody that's inspiring me to be better, you can use those nuggets throughout the day. You can, when you're, when things are coming at you, you can always come about. It's a choice. How do I want to deal with this? And so without those words of encouragement, without those truths, we can't see it for ourselves sometimes. But when we speak it, we can then do it. So I'm excited about what you shared this morning. And today is Wednesday. So we have training with uh, Coach Dan at 630. And then at 7 p.m. we have Why Wakana. Make sure you tune in. Get all your team members on the training. Guys, I know there's a lot of training that needs to be done on Friday. I'm going to touch some ba touch bases on some of them as leaders. What we need to be doing when we bring people into the business. So tomorrow is Wake Up Wealthy Now with our own Dr. Patricia Van Pelt, our president, our acting CFO, and one of the four co-founders. Go out and have a Wakanda kind of day. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.